How's it going, everybody? It's Craig Bush Rock. Welcome to my channel. Had to re-record this video. Talking about Gamescom. It's Tuesday. I thought it was Thursday. Yeah, I got my days mixed up. So, yeah, if you've seen my first video, that's fun. I've seen someone comment. It's Thursday. No, but yeah, Gamescom. What did I think about it? <laughs> now I'm more awake anyways. Uh, that was all right. Watching it and stuff like that. And seeing Xbox games going over to um, PlayStation. You know, I kind of knew that was going to happen with uh, Indiana Jones and stuff like that because they announced it was going to be coming to PlayStation 5 in the springtime. So they had rumors of the Forza um, games coming over to PlayStation um, 5, but that never happened. So I didn't think that would anyways. And who knows down, down the road and stuff like that. But in my first video, I talked about like even the, you know, PlayStation's got the show that goes on Xbox. And if you think about it this way, it's like it's such a big franchise. Um, PlayStation don't own baseball. It's just something that's going to happen. It's going to go on multiple systems. It's not like Indiana Jones is a big game. It's going to go on PS5. It's just it's too big. Um, Xbox don't own the franchise of Indiana Jones itself. But yeah, I got my other phone here. What was some of the announcements that were made? You got Borderlands 4 after that dumpster fire of a movie <laughs> of Borderlands. They, now they got the Borderlands 4. Hopefully this game will be alright and it's gonna, gonna come out in 2025. But we'll see. Uh, Mafia, the old country. Okay, sweet. I like Mafia 3. That's gonna be pretty cool. You know, I'm kind of looking forward to the, the old country. What else we got here? Okay. Indiana Jones, Call of Duty Black Ops 6. Of course, that's going to be coming out on Game Pass here pretty soon and, and coming out on PS5. Uh, Dying Light the Beast. Kind of wondering about that one. I've seen a quick trailer of it, so I like Dying Light. So if they got something new for Dying Light, I'm going to play it. Um, Directive 8020. Um, looks like something new. I'm not too sure about it. It looks like it's a cinematic horror experience. So, I don't know. If you get a chance to check out the trailer, you can let me know what you think of it. Goat Simulator Remastered. Okay. I love Goat Simulator. I got the new one on PS5. <laughs> uh, King of Meat. Didn't see that trailer yet. Uh, Link Banner of Spark. Oh, didn't see that trailer yet. Lost Records, Bloom, and Rage. Okay. That's some of those episodic games like Life is Strange and stuff like that. And I kind of watched a trailer for that one. It's like, mm, maybe I'll play it. I don't know. We'll see. Um, Arc Raiders, Infinity, Nikki. Yeah, enough said of that one. I'm, uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> Dune Awakening. That one I'm kind of looking forward to. It looks like it's going to be multiplayer anyways and stuff like that. And you can build stuff. And that's going to be pretty sweet. Reanimal looks like a horror type game, so, you know, co-op horror. Monster Hunt, Monster Hunter Wilds, kind of knew that was coming out. Um, Sid Meier Civilization Seven, I'll play it on PC. That's the only way I'm going to play it, anyways. So, Marvel Rivals, enough said of that one. Uh, <laughs> Prime Video Secret Level looks like another TV show. Um, the creators behind Love, Death, and Robots, that was pretty cool. Uh, Starfield announcing a vehicle. I tried watching the trailer, just kept on cut, 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 but I knew they were going to have a vehicle. Monument Valley 3, didn't see the trailer for that one. Batman Arkham Shadow, that's a VR game. I've, I've got VR for everything now, so I'll probably play it. Masters of Albion, Peter's Mala, Mala News, uh new game that's coming out. And so that looks pretty sweet. You can be God mode in it, and you can send your guys out and fight. Um, Squid Game Unleashed. Uh, they don't want, no, don't care about that. Diablo Four, Vessel of Hatred. I don't care about that. And, but you know, Gamescom. You know, it's the first day of it being uh, Tuesday, not Thursday. <laughs> Tuesday, being on third shift, you get your days mixed up. But yeah, I'm kind of looking forward to some of these games that are coming out. But it just kind of cracks me up that PlayStation wasn't going to be there. It's like, why would they need to be there? They don't need to because all the announcements I've seen on there coming on Xbox and PlayStation and people are losing their shit over the Indiana Jones going over on uh, PlayStation 5 in the springtime. It's like, yeah, I kind of figure it's going to happen. You know, when 
the Blade game that's going to be coming out, that's not going to be no Xbox ex Xbox exclusive. That's going to be going on PlayStation. I just know it. It's going to happen. It's going to go over there. One game I can say that Sony should put on Xbox, but they won't do it, is Spider-Man because um, Sony PlayStation, Sony owns Spider-Man. So, yeah, Spider-Man games and Spider-Man movies. But that's an, that's what be another topic for another day. But, hey, <laughs> now that I've re-recorded this video, Hey, fun times, everybody. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give me a thumbs down. Comment comment down below what you think of the think of my video. And if you watched the first video, yeah, I was just waking up. Yeah, now it's getting ready for me to go to work here pretty soon. So I got to hurry up and get ready. But yeah, comment down below what you think of the games that's at Gamescom. And what do you think about Indiana Jones going to PS5? I knew it was going to happen. So yeah, other than that, make sure you subscribe, hit the bell icon, share the video with anybody else. And I'm going to put this video back out correctly. So see you later, everybody. Bye. Fun times.